Hey, this is Tyler Beck. Let's work through an exercise together. This is a gasket, and there's actually a lot you can learn if you're somewhat new to Fusion 360. It's not in terrible, you know, it's not very intimidating to look at. Uh, it's really just a simple sketch and extrude. But there's a lot of things here you can mess up when you're brand new to Fusion 360. So let's take a look at it. We're definitely going to be doing an extrude, and we're definitely doing a sketch. Let's start a new file. Um, I'll go ahead and save it. It's uh, one of my habits. We'll click New Sketch and Front Plane. You could do it on any plane you like, but um, by habit, I'm going to do Front Plane. I don't plan on doing any other components, so it's fine that I just uh, leave it as is and get started. All right. Um, what I'd like to do is have a center line to work with. So from the origin, just for simplicity, I'm gonna sketch going up and I'm gonna sketch going down. And these lines, I'm gonna click both of them and make them uh, construction. Looks like I accidentally drew an extra, I'll drag that down. I'm gonna select both and right click and choose construction. You can also hit X on the keyboard. Now, when I look at this shape, um, you might, you could potentially sketch this um, without the rounds, without the fillets. Um, but given the simplicity of this overall part, I'm gonna try to sketch all of it at once, including the holes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use lines and arcs. So the first thing I wanna do is maybe choose the arc and I could do the three point arc. I'll click here and just click off in space. And I'm just gonna try to rough this out the best I can. I'll go to the line tool and sketch it out. I'll come over and I'll choose arc again. And I'll do tangent arc this time. I'd like tangency. And tangency is just this fancy way of understanding that there's a smooth curvature coming from the line into the arc. Or another way to think of it is you've got a circle. And if you had lines going by a circle, if it were to touch only at one point, that would be considered tangency. Next, it's a line coming down. And then let's do another arc. Come up and find the arcs. And I'm gonna connect it to this center line. And I'm still missing quite a bit. I've roughed this out, but let's first add some constraints. So um, if you're new to this, um, I'm a big fan of doing my constraints first and then my dimensions next just to get um, the relationships kind of defined. And this is one thing I feel like takes quite a bit of practice before you start feeling really fast and comfortable with Fusion or any CAD tool for that matter. So let's add, I'm gonna select using Shift or Command, uh, depending if you're on a Mac or Windows. Select these two and make them tangent. And then I want uh, these two lines to be equal. I want them always to be the same, so I'll choose equal. That looks pretty good for the moment. Let's now start adding a few dimensions. And I do have one preference that I have turned on. I'll come up to my little uh, icon for my name, choose preferences, and then I'm gonna cruise over to design. In design, there's this scale entire sketch at first dimension. What this does is when you place your very first dimension, it's going to try to define everything else um, and make it kind of relatively the same size, which I love this. That means that um, everything will get sized down kind of automatically for me. Even though I, you know, maybe I drew this four times too big, that's okay. It'll still update it correctly. So let's for this first thing is seven. It's a radius of seven. I use smart dimension right here, place that on the arc, and you'll notice mine all scaled down and it looks looks okay, good. So let's, I'll start dragging in a few more dimensions, 20. And I know that this arc should be seven, but it's also the same as this one. So I'm actually gonna choose these two arcs and make them equal. And that went kind of crazy, that's okay. Um, now I need to figure out where the center points of these arcs go. And they actually just line up with our center line. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to say that it connects there. It's coincident. Same thing. I'll say this point and this line line up. And you can see it moves the arc in. And then even the center point of this arc should be lined up with this line. So it should be concentric there. All right. 
what are we missing now? So if we were to drag, um, this, this goes up and down. Um, so I haven't really figured out where everything goes just yet. All right, so next let's get this lined up. Um, when I look for the origin, I can see it's right here and I wanted my origin right in the center. That's actually a great rule of thumb. So I'm gonna say this point in here line up. They're at the origin. So my origin is now sitting right in the center. That can be really helpful for more complex designs. And I'm gonna drag in a hole right at the center, one at this point and one at this point. Now I know that this dimension is seven and the bottom one is seven. So should I, this question comes up, should I do both of them at seven or should I make them equal? And the question comes back to you, what's your design intent? Do you want to be able to change this and make this eight and the other one six? Great, then do dimensions. If they always should be equal, at least as far as you know, then go ahead and make them equal. So I'll choose both arcs and make them equal. And then I'm gonna do a dimension for this circle and make it 30. That's huge. That was crazy. That's seven. All right, so what are we missing? Uh, one thing I want is I want the di distance from this circle to this circle to be 55, and that'll stretch everything out. That's much better. And now it looks like it's fully defined. Everything's gone black, meaning Fusion knows um, everything it needs to know from you about the sketch in order for you to make design changes and it still update correctly. When it's all blue, then it's probably gonna behave kind of crazy. All right, so if I want to now mirror all of this, let's do it. Um, we'll come find the mirror tool. You choose mirror in the pull down and then choose the objects. These objects over here. And then I'm gonna mirror about this center line and hit okay. And everything is all black, that's a good signal, but also that if there's this little lock on your sketch, um, that means that everything is defined and in its right place, it's fully defined if you guys see this little lock. All right, next thing we need to do is we're gonna extrude this. So if I um, finish the sketch out, go find extrude, I'll select just this profile, um, ignoring the holes, and I can extrude it up or down. It's not gonna matter. Set the distance you want or the thickness. I'll say it's five millimeter, hit okay. And now we have our 3D part completed. So if you'd like to practice this one at home, um, here are the dimensions. Take a shot at this, build this one. It's a great one to practice, especially for practicing getting your design constraints and dimensions. Um, for a pretty simple part, it's a great one to practice. And I'll see you guys in the next practice video. Thanks for watching. Hey, for more Fusion 360 videos, check out this playlist.